Okay, I think we're about ready to begin. It's, uh, seating has sorted itself out. I'd like to welcome you. I'm Peter Nerksey, and I'm from Sun Microsystems and with Jeannie Trichel, also of Sun. We've had a computer history talk series for the last five years. Our very first program five years ago, back in April 1993, was right here in this auditorium on early computing at Livermore. And the total number of people present, including the speakers and the entire audience, was 20. <laughs> but this was a very distinguished audience, because right there in the front row, in two seats in the center, we had Gordon Bell and Donald Knuth sitting side by side, sort of like hardware and software together. <laughs> So we've had five years of program since then. In the last couple of years, we've joined forces with the Computer Museum History Center at Mobfit Field, which has the world's largest collection of computer hardware, over 100 tons of computer hardware. <laughs> I might say that our, our second program, after that distinguished first program, was on the 20th birthday of the Ethernet back in May of 1993. Again, a park occasion, although we held it at Sun, that program. And John Schock was one of the speakers who also suggested this program here tonight. And since then, looking back over our programs, I find a couple more particularly relevant to this evening just last fall, like uh, October 28th, we had a program on the early user interface design at Apple with Larry Tesla and Chris Espinoza, which directly drew on a lot of the work done at Park and that you'll see in the Star User Interface this evening. And our November program last year, that was on Doug Engelbart and his writing on augmenting human intellect. And there we had Bill English, who worked with Doug on early input devices. And he had a whole series of early mice that he pulled out of his briefcase, one after the other. You know. Some were plastic, some were wood, some were metal. There a whole profusion of early mice, which you also see in the Star user interface. And remember, the Star comes from 1982, but just that recently, 1982, people weren't sure how to describe a mouse. It was a digital pointing device. They didn't have any better words for it. Now, about the program tonight, obviously, the main center of interest is the star itself. Well, there's two stars running just in case one falters. Yeah. I'd like to make a point about the hardware. In my announcement, I wrote how Dave Kerbo from Sun had like 12 stars from which he was making one or two run. But those were a later model of the star. We were lucky enough for this program tonight to have the original star, the Xerox 8010, running. And we're even luckier that we have the original software running on it. And the code to activate the software was only found by Bob Garner two weeks ago. <laughs> so there, I think I've said enough about the series. And well, there's the main topic of the program, the star. So I'll ask Dave Liddell to speak now. And Dave directed the star development effort at Xerox. Thank you, Peter.